everyone. I'm Allison. This is Daniel. And uh, yeah. we're going to address the elephant in the room. Yes, we are going to answer the question that probably our longtime viewers and audience may not have as much, but probably have somewhat. But for sure, we know that our new subscribers, new audience that have found us through the Play the Game series and things like that definitely have. And that is, why are there so many adults <laughs> on a channel called Kidsplaining? I think we need to back up a little yeah. bit though. So to explain that and stick with it, this is, we're gonna, this is not a history lesson, it's not a history but lesson. we need to explain a little bit of where we've been so we can explain where we're going and to answer that question for you all. So yes. All right, so. The year was 2020. <laughs> it was COVID literally had like swept the world and two we years had ago. nothing to do for spring break. It was two years ago, however many months, however many days, yeah. um, the world shut down. And we were bored. Daniel has a production company. All his clients canceled their stuff. I was starting to get back. I had some health issues, was getting back, had my health back and the boys. And we were so excited to go to spring break. We had saved some money and everything got canceled. Yes. And we we're like, well, we need to keep busy. We're bored and we have set aside some money for spring break. Yep. Let's go. Everything shut down. But our board game shop, our Game Goblins, it's an amazing yeah. shop if you're here locally in Little Rock, Arkansas. You need to go to Gang Goblins, they're amazing. But we were like, we need to help keep them going. So we were also really bored and we needed something to do during quarantine. So we took all of our spring break money and put it into board games like any wise adults would. <laughs> and then we decided, I do have a production company. We have nothing to do. I need to keep my skills sharp. Let's do videos with the boys about board games and let them teach people how to play board games. So the boys love to talk. We all love games. So we kind of came up, it became a family project and kids planning was yes. born and the boys were on the channel. We were just their yeah. production and their agents and went from there and we yeah. have had the most amazing support. The boys have had just awesome support. Daniel and I tried. Yeah, we, we never on. intended. We never intended for the two of us to be on camera. I had no interest. We thought eventually thought, hey, what if we do a segment called Can Kids Play? Yeah. And the game Fort from Leader Games had just come out. So we thought, hey, that's a good <laughs> one to address. And we sat, our, sat at our kitchen table for about 30 minutes trying to get through the intro. It was and they horrible. were like, hey, we're not supposed to be on, camera. Not to be on camera. Let's not do this. do this. So it was probably a good six months before we do finally... Do you still have that footage? I don't know. I don't oh. think I do. I if think for the it, sake we'll of to. us and the world, I deleted that. <laughs> Yeah, so it was so bad. But eventually we decided that we wanted to give it another shot. Mm -hmm. The boys were having fun. I think a big part of it was the kid talks because we were jealous. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the kids were getting to talk to people that you want to talk to, that we want to talk to. I'm talking to Jamie Stegmeyer, got to interview Eric Lang for an hour, got to talk to Tom Basil for an hour. And just all of these people that we're, and then we're just sitting here behind the scenes, just like I did geek making out. sure the cameras were recording. There was a few people that I got, I got on to like check audience stuff like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan. I'm sorry. Like I, yeah, like Kim Joy. Yeah. Like yeah. Kim Joy. <laughs> yeah. So oh. things like that. We were like, Hey, maybe we should get in on the fun. <laughs> Let's do some live streams. Let's do, mm -hmm. and strategically like for the channel, I think we need some more adult centric content. We need to, we need to be a resource for parents. So right, we, so started, we started, started doing that and we'll, kids play. we'll get to the end because that's all you've seen the progression and can probably infer why we did all of those. But then we thought, hey, the board game world is lacking really, really high quality like board game playthroughs, tabletop level playthroughs. Mm -hmm. We have seven cameras. We have a studio. Let's Why do don't it. we do that? So we decided to do that. And that is where the Play the Game series was born. Mm -hmm. And since and, that. Yeah, we've yeah. been doing that now for almost like for five months. It's, it's currently like June 1st, May. It's either the last day of May or the first day it's of June. It's June 1st. Happy we June. built this studio in February. We are now nine episodes in mm -hmm. with a lot more already shot. And a lot um, more to come. We're shooting today, tomorrow, and Friday. Like we're, it's 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 yeah. trucking. But the um, problem is, yes, is we have been told by multiple people throughout the last six months that we're not going to click on a channel with the word "kid" in it. When it's got "kid," they're no. not going to click on it. Why? I'd rather yeah. watch other content. Um, there's a lot of people that really support our boys. We we love that, and more people will. But kid splitting is holding us back. The name Kids Planning, not the, the series. The name Kids Planning. It's so. holding us back and people aren't giving us or the boys a chance. 
And we are so nostalgic yeah. where we're like, well, we're just kids splitting. We know it's an uphill battle. We'll go from there. And that's kind of how we, our mentality has been. We're just kids splitting and we'll deal with it. Yep. Can't be kids splitting, can't be anything. But our boys and that aren't is gonna why be kids. we're shutting it all down. No, we're not. <laughs> Just our boys kidding. are not going to be kids yeah. as much. I mean, as their mom, it pains me to say this, but they're going to be teens yep. really soon. Jared's turning 13 in a few months. Peyton is, he'll be, he's nine. He'll be yeah. 10. I mean, he's, we're getting up there. And if they don't want to do this, we don't want to force them, right. obviously. But we also want to give them a place to go when they're not kids, when they don't want to be considered kids anymore, yeah. something like that, but they still want to be in the hobby. We don't want kids planning to die. Yes. And, and this whole experience has been a fantastic, like it's been, it's been a family project. It's also been part of their school. And mm -hmm. they have learned to, Jared as a, he's 12. He's 13, he'll be 13. As a 10 year old was reading That's off right. of a teleprompter better than most of my adult <laughs> clients do. Like they have he's learned off. to memorize and recite lines. They've learned to talk use their adults. hands to talk on camera. They've learned to deliver lines and not just say words on a page. They mm -hmm. have, they have they've learned been on to the teach. News. Yeah, they've, they've been, been <laughs> on the news. They've been. They have interviewed close to 50 other people in the board game adults. industry. Yes, adults just like they again, they've gotten to do stuff that we're jealous of. So it's there's no regret there. There's no they yeah. love doing this. They, they love really do. and they build confidence from mm -hmm. it also. So it's kids planning is not going anywhere. Nope. But we had to make a decision and the decision that we have made, which is, is a conversation we've had for yes, a while. It's, this been, is a conversation it's been ongoing for a while on. because it's like it's. It's awkward for me to introduce a video as welcome back to kids playing. It, it is. <laughs> but there was, we always felt like if we put out good content, the content we'll will speak, speak for itself ourselves. and people won't care about the name and we need to be on brand. So we need to use the name kids playing in our intros. And what we have found is yes, the content speaks for itself, but the name is stopping a lot of people from getting to the content. Mm -hmm. So over the next couple of months, what you will most likely see is not kids plan and go away, but we are going to widen the umbrella of the mm -hmm. channel and the channel will become I some form game. of play, play the game HQ, play the game, something. The channel will become play the game. Kids planning will become a series on the play the game channel. The play the game playthroughs will be a series on the play the game channel. Our can kids play, our reviews, our lists, our recommendations, mm -hmm. all of that will live under the play the game umbrella mm -hmm. and Everything you have come to know and love about this channel we'll will stay. be exactly the same. We will never not be yes. family friendly. We will always be family um, inclusive because our boys are going to yes. play with us um, on the play the game. And then they're also going to be continuing teaching the tutorials yep. and doing unboxings. But we will be Dana and Allison with play the game. The boys will be kids playing. Yeah. This also allows us to have people like Devin on outside mm -hmm. of playthroughs and not feel like we're betraying something. And Jesse, Jesse's yes. and coming Jesse. over today. Yep, Jesse is coming over in Black like Lope. 30, 45 minutes to be mm -hmm. our first in-studio guest, which by the time this, no, because we're going to do this pretty quick. So <laughs> look forward to look like forward next to week, <laughs> or if you're watching this more than a week after it was posted, Check go out. back and find our first studio but yeah, visit. So yeah. we're going to have, we're going to have many more people and guests yep. on here that will just be underneath it and it won't be it won't feel as awkward or confusing the fact that we are that that is under kids planning we will be play the no. game and the boys will still be kids planning no. it, i mean they will live on in infinity as kids planning and we love that um but yeah we're going to be play the game yes and it'll be a a transition and we will probably put another video out kind of be like okay so this yeah, is happened. We'll, we don't want to just have like you have those channel changes that it's like, when did I subscribe to this channel? I don't recognize <laughs> that name or that logo, which luckily the play the game branding has been mm -hmm. around for a little bit. We will make this a slow transition. As smooth the, as possible. The name will change first. The kids planning branding will still exist in mm -hmm. the, like the header on the page. The There will be things to let you know you're still on the same channel. We'll still be here. We'll be here. You will most likely see one of the two of us or Jared or Peyton in any video that comes out, mm -hmm. at least for the foreseeable future. So we just felt like we needed to explain what was going on, explain that change. So we've, far, we've, we've discussed with this a lot of yeah, with, with some of our close friends, our close confidants friends, and have yet to have someone say, no, your kids planning, stay kids planning. It makes sense to have adults on a channel called Kids Planning. So. Everyone I've talked to, which has been a lot in the past yeah. week, especially, and they've been all, this feels right. It yep. feels it right. Makes this sense. feels right. This makes sense. This is the progression yeah. we love to see. We will always support you no matter what. Yeah. And we even played with a few different names. Yeah. But because we already have play the game, it felt weird to introduce another name right. to know us by. And so it was like, well, you know, we've got play the game, we've got kids planning. Um, 
the few yeah. people that I've said to do that, we, we totally see it. Glad they said that, and we agree with them. Yeah, and we feel like we can overcome the SEO challenges. We feel like apparently our, it's yeah. the queen. Yeah, <laughs> there's the a queen song. song named "Play the Game," but I think within a month I can. I, it's, oh really? It's just queen. <laughs> it's just queen. We can be king, and queen can be queen. I <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> He is. You are king of SEO, so we'll we'll see where we can uh, go from there. That's generous. He knows but what he's doing. I don't even really understand it. So we're the number one like result for how to play Hive on Google, that's or at least true. we were. That was a few like weeks our ago. second video yeah. the boys put out. So there. at least I've got that, and that game's been around for like twelve years. So yeah, it's a good game. Uh, but yeah, so we look forward to the growth. We look forward to the freedom that mm -hmm. this is going to give us to spread our wings, to expand, to have because. Another big part of the reason for building this studio was so we could bring in publishers and other content creators, just like Jesse is doing today. Jesse is going to be our first in-studio guest. Devin is a core part of this yeah, production. Devin's, so Devin's not a guest. He's on. Devin, you're part of you're this. You're part team. of this. So you're not just a pretty face. <laughs> you are part of Play the Game. And, just a pretty face. And we are going to have Jesse in as our first in-studio guest and hope to have dozens if not hundreds more guests in as yeah. we build this so into you know, our goal with this series with the play the game series is tabletop without the famous people if you can't tell by the level of production we're doing that's our goal that's our is goal. tabletop without the famous people until we meet famous people but until then let's play the game you will now see the kids planning tutorial series under the play the game umbrella, yep. the boys will still be sharing their lists and their family recommendations, the games that you should play for summer and battle games and all their favorite games. It will still have a presence on the channel. This will just hopefully open up the doors mm -hmm. to more people being willing to check us out because our channel name doesn't say kid. In it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Sincerely, yes. everyone who is the support that we've the, had throughout the last two years has been amazing. Yeah. We have found our tribe. Yeah. Uh, we love board games, but we we love the community and we love the people in and throughout yes. this whole industry. It's been amazing. Yeah. And we are blessed, so blessed to be yep. a part of it and in it. So we're not going anywhere. Mm -mm. Just getting a facelift. So. <laughs> we will see you later. Bye. Until next time. Bye.